from the terminology, uh, the point in why they came up the further up and also forcing it onto the menu of science. Uh, what are the potential exit strategies? We feel that there is as much practically appeal to a lot of different organizations that are actually not of alternatives. And one of the search portals or internet advertising companies, they can use the content of web transfer documents to create much more targeted advertising. Software publishers such as the Rodeo Corral who are looking to sell additional software to their existing uh, clients. And distributors of uh, information online who are looking to enhance their user experience would want to bundle web tracking with the services that they deliver. And you'll be investing in a company that is uh, generating, is, is in readily generating stage, and it has gone through its initial development, and it's about to launch a new version of a very well-received product in response to, uh, to the existing users. We've identified the target areas, key markets that we can actually uh, approach and attack for uh, getting our product out there, and, and we actually know how to do that. And we have developed very good relationships with a lot of uh, large organizations, Corel being one, Apple being another, and most importantly, we have actually learned from our experience. Thank you very much. And just to give you a little bit of background on that, the area that specifically we're talking about is here for global mega projects or large capital projects, and the ability of taking those mega projects into the online information economy is uh, a huge opportunity. To give you some perspective on that, at any one time in the world, there's well over $3 trillion of projects being developed and built at any one time. And just to give you a feel, some of the company names around the outside of the bottom and the right are, are there, but mega projects come in many flavors. Oil and gas is a flavor to sure right now just simply because of the uh, high oil price, but power, transportation, including airports, high speed rail projects, pharmaceutical plants building a chip gas plant, all of these things in the built economy are huge mega projects. And in our case, we're talking about projects that are about a half billion dollars up to literally tens of billions of dollars. So I'm going to be throwing around some big numbers here, and I understand that, but that's why this is such a large opportunity. Yet if you look at that world, offline processes prevail. People are still using paper-based documents and currying things around the world from places in Asia and Africa where courier bills can literally turn into tens of millions of dollars for these large projects. Uh, there's huge risks associated with these projects involving litigation, cost, and time overrun. So, in short, there's an area of called project collaboration that has emerged to kind of connect the dots with all the people and the work processes in these organizations. <clears throat> and our product, CoreWorks, Exactly that proprietary IP, we've got our own IP scalable platform that accelerates these projects and sort of gets them done faster and cheaper. My name is uh, Sean Neville. I'm the co-founder and CEO of the Audio Book, which is the world's largest rent for audio book and soon to be a thing to a plan, the largest retailer of audio book in the world. So contrary to what might be in your past, a couple of mistakes on our information. I'm Sean Neville. I'm the CEO, and we're not in the gaming community. We're in the audio book business. So we'll talk a little bit about this market and why it exists. What's the pain point in the audio book market? Call commuter time. Every day, millions on millions of people commute to work. In fact, now in the United States, the average person commutes over 100 hours to work. Therefore, they're spending more time in their more time in their car than on vacation. In fact, in the cities of New York, Los Angeles, and Baltimore, over 5% of the commuters do what's classified as an extreme commute by the Department of Transportation. That means they commute over 90 minutes each way to work. They spend over three hours in the car each and every day, which would put them at about 750 hours in a given year. It's a lot of idle time, and I'm sure a lot of you have done it. And audiobooks are a commuter's relief. What's interesting how this business came to be, it's one of these things where I had a need, 
I was commuting and needed a solution. For those of you from the Toronto area, I grew up in Newmarket before there was a 404. I also lived at Avenue Road and commuted to the airport along that strip of the 401, which is the